hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys three different ways in which you can use coffee to boost hair growth coffee helps to promote hair growth by stimulating the hair shaft causing the root of the hair to grow longer the three method that i'm going to be showing you guys in today's video works 100 percent how do i know it works because i have tried it on my clients and my kids here and it works the only thing you need to do is be consistent at applying it to your hair and you're going to see amazing results so i would suggest you should watch this video to the end so you don't miss any useful information if you're new to this channel hi welcome and if you're my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for your support in this channel i do di videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients so if you're interested you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it the first method is the oil method so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a bowl then I'm going to go ahead and add my chosen oil. So the first oil I'm going to be using for today's hair growth oil is olive oil. So olive oil is one of my favorite oil to use. Olive oil is a very lightweight oil. It's easy to penetrate into the hair shaft. Olive oil helps with split ends. It helps to soften your hair. It helps your hair to grow stronger. It strengthens your hair. It moisturizes your hair like never before and it makes your hair longer as well. I'm going to go ahead and add half cup of olive oil into the bowl. You can use any oil of your choice. Use whatever oil that works best for your hair type. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is coffee. So coffee is really amazing for our hair. The caffeine in coffee helps to stimulate hair growth. It stops hair loss. According to research, caffeine in coffee can help to stimulate hair growth. It helps to strengthen your hair and it prevents hair breakage and hair loss. I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of coffee. You can use any coffee of your choice as long as it contains high level of caffeine. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is Moringa powder. I'm starting to love Moringa, okay? And it has a great benefit for our natural hair. One of the most important benefits of Moringa is it helps to boost hair growth. Moringa contains vitamin A, vitamin B, and omega-3 fatty acid, all those nutrients nourish the hair and promote hair growth. Vitamin A plays a major role in development of healthy cells and healthy hair growth. I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of Moringa powder. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is cloves. So I went ahead and blend my cloves off camera to save time. So this is how it looks like. You can also use cloves powder as well. Cloves can be used to protect your scalp from dandruffs, which are the major cause of weak and thinning hair. I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of cloves. Now I just went ahead and mixed all the ingredients together. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a pot. Then I'm going to add water. Then I'm going to transfer the pot to the cooker. I'm going to go ahead and place my bowl into the boiling water. This method is called the double boiler method. I'm going to allow it to sit in the boiling water for about 30 minutes on the low heat. So guys, if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So after 30 minutes, this is how it looks like. I went ahead and allow it to cool down before straining the oil out. 
After cooling down, this is how it looks like. I went ahead and strained it out. You can use this oil as a hot oil treatment. You can also use it on a daily basis to seal in moisture to your hair. You can use this oil twice a week, especially if you're experiencing hair breakage or if you have fine to thin hair. This oil is really powerful and very effective as well. With consistency, you will definitely see a massive result if you're consistent at applying it to your hair so once i'm done straining this is how the oil looks like i'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of jojoba oil jojoba oil can help to promote hair growth it moisturizes dry hair it's rich in vitamins and minerals that nourish your hair it can also prevent hair loss and promote hair thickness i'm also going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of vitamin e oil vitamin e oil helps to nourish the scalp it has been shown that it helps to increase blood circulation to the scalp which helps to increase hair growth as well as this vitamin e oil add shine to your hair and boost hair growth i'm going to go ahead and add few drops of peppermint essential oil so guys this part is optional if you don't want to add essential oil it's fine you don't have to add it just add whatever that works best for you if you don't like essential oil it's fine just skip this part you don't have to add it this oil is powerful enough without the essential oil so it's fine if you don't want to add it once I'm done adding all my ingredients, I went ahead and mixed all the ingredients together. So guys, if you want to see a faster result, use this oil to lock in moisture to your hair. You can also use it as a hot oil treatment or you can also apply it to your scalp to improve blood flow to your scalp, which will help to promote hair growth. So we're going to move on to the second method, which is the spray method. This is by far my favorite method because you're going to see a quicker result compared to the other method. It doesn't mean the other method doesn't work. It's just that the other method takes longer for you to see a result. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of water into the pan. Then I'm going to transfer the pan to the stove. I'm going to allow the water to boil for a few minutes. So the first ingredient that I'm going to be adding is our main ingredient, which is coffee. You can use any coffee brand of your choice, as long as it contains high level of caffeine in it. So I already explained the amazing benefits of coffee for our hair. Did I mention that you can also use coffee to reduce hair loss? It cleanses dead cells on the scalp, which allow new cells to grow. You can also use coffee to darken your hair. So for those that have gray hair, if you want to darken your gray hair, you can use coffee, apply it to your hair as often as you can, and you will see your gray hair change color in no time. So I went ahead and add one tablespoon of coffee into the boiling water. The next ingredient that I'm going to be adding is cloves. So I'm sure you guys know the benefits of adding cloves to your hair care routine. If you use clove the correct way, you're going to see amazing result. I love using cloves because it works really well. As I mentioned before, if you use it the correct way, I know some of you guys are not a big fan of cloves. So cloves is not working for you or maybe it's drying out your hair because you're using it the wrong way. So follow this video step by step and you're going to see amazing results I'm also going to go ahead and add dry rosemary leaves you can either use the fresh rosemary leaves or the dry rosemary leaves rosemary is a very powerful natural ingredient as well especially if you're trying to grow out your hair extremely fast rosemary promotes hair growth it prevents hair loss it stimulates hair growth it strengthens hair it fights against dandruffs it's amazing for scalp issues as well so i'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of dry rosemary leaves into the boiling water as well hold up, hold up. 
I'm also going to go ahead and add one stick of cinnamon. So cinnamon is also amazing for our hair as well. It treats hair loss, it increases blood circulation to the scalp, which lead to encouraging hair growth and reduce hair loss. It's also amazing for antifungal properties, which may help to treat dandruffs. Once I'm done adding all my ingredients, I went ahead and mixed everything together. I'm going to allow it to boil for about 10 minutes. With the spray, within a week, you will definitely see a difference within your hair. This could be that your hair stops shedding, it stops breaking, it becomes thicker, or maybe you're starting to retain length. This is the reason why I love the spray. It's so effective and you're going to see a quicker result. So all the ingredients we added are all natural and it's not going to cause any harm to your hair. So you can use it on your hair as well as your kids hair as well. So what I love about using natural ingredient is that you don't have to worry about any eating chemicals adding to your um, spray or your oil because all the ingredients we added, they're all natural and it's safe to use. So you want to make sure to cook it for about 10 minutes. If you don't like this method, you can also do the other method as well. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and add hot water into the mason jar. Then you want to add all your ingredients into the mason jar as well. Then cover the mason jar. Then you can infuse it overnight. So that method is called 12 to 24 hours infusion. Okay. So this method that I'm using in today's video is the fastest method. If you want your spray straight away, then you can do this boiling method. I always do this method. It works just as well as the other method. So as I mentioned before, if you have time on your hand and you're not ready to use your spray straight away, then you can do the 12 hours to 24 hours infusion. If you want your spray straight away, you can use this method that I'm doing in today's video. So pick whatever method that works best for you. After 10 minutes, this is how it looks like. I'm going to allow it to cool down for a few minutes. After cooling down, I went ahead and strained out the leave-in conditioner spray. So the best way to use this hair growth spray is as a leave-in conditioner. So do not wash it out. Do not rinse this spray out. Once you're done saturating the spray to your scalp and your hair, you want to go ahead and follow up with your hair butter or your leave-in cream to seal in moisture to the hair. Only water will not moisturize your hair. Then once you saturate the spray to your hair and your scalp, then you want to apply your oil to lock in all that moisture to your hair. So remember to follow the instructions step by step in order to avoid hair breakage or hair dryness. Our final method is as a detangler. So if you have a natural hair, the first rule is to detangle your hair first before you shampoo your hair. So before applying any product to your hair, you need to detangle your hair first. If you have just taken off your twist or your braid, you need to apply this method to your hair first as this will help to reduce the amount of breakage. So remember guys, detangling your hair before you shampoo your hair first is a great way to reduce hair breakage. So I added one tablespoon of coffee into the pan. The next ingredient is flaxseed. Flaxseed contain vitamin E, which is very beneficial for our hair and skin. The nutrients contained in flaxseed helps to promote a healthy hair and scalp. Flaxseed is also amazing for hair breakage and it's also amazing to detangle your hair. So what I love about flaxseed is that if you're experiencing a lot of hair breakage, especially during the detangling process, you definitely want to incorporate flaxseed into your hair care routine, especially if your scalp is sensitive to fresh aloe vera. I would suggest you should definitely try flaxseed out. If you're experiencing a lot of hair breakage, you're not going to be seeing thickness in your hair coming through because your hair is breaking too much, which means your hair is thinning out. This is the reason why you should add flaxseed into your hair care routine. I'm going to go ahead and add three tablespoons of flaxseed into the pot. Our final ingredient is cloves. So cloves contain an amazing benefit. 
you guys know i love cloves on this channel we love cloves on this channel cloves contain so many amazing benefits only if you use it the correct way if you don't use it the correct way you're going to experience hair breakage so you definitely want to use it the correct way cloves will make your hair to grow much faster stronger thicker and healthy i'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of cloves Once I'm done adding all my ingredients, I went ahead and add two cups of water. So this three combination is extremely powerful when it comes to promoting hair growth, keeping your hair moisturized, minimizing hair breakage, adding volume to your hair and stop hair loss. This recipe is so, so powerful super amazing so guys if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel do consider subscribing to my channel in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to put on your post notification so you don't miss my future uploads after 20 minutes this is how it looks like so when your gel is ready this is how it should look like as you guys can see the liquid has thickened up so now i'm going to go ahead and turn off the stove i'm going to go ahead and strain it out straight away do not allow the gel to cool down before straining it's better to strain it out while it's still hot because if you allow it to cool down you're going to find it really difficult to get the gel out so i'm going to be using my cheesecloth to strain it out you can use whatever you have to strain it out so once i'm done this is how it looks like i love the consistency of this recipe super moisturizing and it contains so many amazing nutrients that will nourish your hair and scalp so i'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of my diy hair growth oil so as i mentioned before use this method before you shampoo your hair as it will help the washing process a lot more easier and it will also help to reduce hair breakage as well so guys the proof is in the pudding natural ingredient works as you guys can see from my intro before and after it works and the funny thing is my kids hair really shrink so you guys don't really get to see the real length I don't use hair straightener on my kids hair I'm not going to risk damaging the kids hair just to prove a point that natural ingredient works all you need to do is be consistent pick one or two recipe you think your hair may like and stick with it and follow the instructions and you're going to see amazing results so guys i have shown you guys three ways in which you can incorporate coffee with other natural ingredients such as cloves cinnamon um, rosemary moringa into your hair care routine to maximize hair growth to retain length to stop hair breakage and to stop hair loss so guys we have come to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if these are the type of content you enjoy watching thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video thank you guys bye